Hi, so welcome back. Thanks for clicking. So, a pastor's daughter will share a journey to Islam. So, let's check it out. I remember my first Ramadan. It was in 2009 and I actually learned on the very first day of Ramadan how to pray even though I had converted two months before Ramadan but I was definitely convinced that I was going to make my first Ramadan the best that I possibly could even though I knew absolutely nothing about Islam but I knew that I believed in the one God and that that feeling is what was going to carry me through my first Ramadan. My family, it took them some time to accept my conversion to Islam. Uh, first and foremost, my parents are divorced. My father is a born-again Christian pastor in Florida. So I actually didn't tell him for almost a year because I was just so nervous of what his reaction was going to be. So I slowly gave him subtle hints on that clearly I wasn't celebrating the Christian holidays anymore. My brother initially took it really hard because he just felt he was losing not only me but he was losing Christmas with me and also due to his lack of knowledge but as I sat with him and educated him more about Islam he was more accepting about it and I also made such a great effort to still have somewhat of a nice family gathering during the time that they celebrate their holidays. My mother was the most accepting of all because being her oldest child I'd always made good decisions in my life and she knew that if it was a decision I made I would thoroughly thought it out and looked at all sides positive and negative so obviously if my she said if my daughter made this decision it must be a good decision for her and I support her. The advice that I would give someone about Islam, depending on what their religious background is, is to really look at what they really feel is their relationship with God and feeling that connected relationship. And if their worship, whether it be from any other faith, do they really feel that they're making a sacrifice to God and look at Islam at the level of sacrifice you're actually making for God before yourself and before worldly things and see that that really will enable you to have that peace at heart. Wow, that was a beautiful and you know, very short, beautiful story. She, asked, she told us how it all started. She said during the Ramadan, it was even two months before the Ramadan she converted to Islam. She was drawn into the religion and she told us, told us about her parents. They were divorced and the father is a pastor. It, it was a very difficult you know, decision for her to make because of the, the position of her father. But she had to take the both step because she believes in what she wants and she believes that God has actually directed her to the religion. So she went ahead to discuss it with her mom and her mom was cool with that. You know, you know when you reach a certain age in your life your parents cannot impose what you want there's some things that you yourself you want all what your parents can do is to wish you well because you are an adult even adolescent age sometimes it's very hard for them to you agree to what their parents say immediately you become an adult you can make decisions for yourself you've become so dependent no matter the decision you want to make as long as it's, it's a good one for you and they, 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 I'm sure they thought about it that it has increased our faith in God. It has made her more, much more connected to God. She, she now has more connection with God. She's growing spiritually. You know, that was a beautiful story. I'm really, really impressed. And I love her advice to the people seeking for the truth. You know, like she said, if you're seeking for the truth, just know your God, do what you feel is right for, for, for yourself, you have that feeling that it's God that is directing you and take the step. That was a beautiful one guys. Thank you so much for watching guys and it's a wrap. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more. Like, share and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.